going to show you an expert. He is Sir Manuel Persado. He graduated fine arts in Yucatan and teaches history of arts and visual arts in the LSUD at present. Let's now learn about visual arts on him. So before we go forward, I'm going to show you the rotation. Um, Sir Pisado is a current teacher in visual arts in architecture department. And oh, Yes, the darker the shape. Yeah. So we still have the 
last two kinds of shading, which is the big. The third one is circular reserving of light, circular motion pass on the shades. For example, if this is the light, and this is the reflection of your drawing, that is where the shadow is. Next one is the point that is the where you apply dots in your shading. And um, on the lightest areas, you apply smaller uh, dots, while on the darker area, you apply large dots. And we're going to show you, share you tips on keeping your artwork presentable and clean. And what are these five tips? There are five tips on keeping your work clean. Number one is sharpening. There is done by nickel point and chisel point. It is said that we should use the right one at the right time. For example, we use the chisel point in artworks that that are composed of straight lines. Next, second, less much. Who wants an art an artwork with smudges? We should be careful on moving our hands around the artwork so we will avoid smudges. Third, quick strokes, especially on straight lines. If you use quick strokes in our drawings, we would avoid shaking. Four, use grid lines to avoid erasures. It will also help help us to create a copy of an image easily. And last one, study your ideas before drawing. If you know what output you would want, you would avoid erasures and changing of concepts. Apply the hatching technique that was shown in our lecture this afternoon.